friends, family. Doug, the homeless guy who lives out in the dumpster behind Starbucks on Walnut and Fifth. Thank you for tuning back in to Learning About League of Legends with Professor Rhubarb and the journey through the Laboratory of Learning. Uh, I have been asked to possibly try and branch out into some other games and things of that nature, which I am totally willing to do. Um, maybe not this week, unfortunately, because I have sort of things planned out already. Uh, but I will certainly look towards them, like other opportunities towards the end of the week, um, to see, you know, maybe we could change some things up because I can understand, you know, not everyone who watches this will be playing this game. So makes sense. Uh, anyway, I'm going to continue doing, uh, what I have been doing, uh, which is just playing different champions in ARAM and... You know, explain what they do, possible build paths, what runes you might take, and just have fun, really, and watch some really mediocre gameplay with, like, one or two decent moments. You know. Hmm. <laughs> so, the uh, World Championships is currently going on, as well, and... Um, the semifinals have been set. It's uh, two. Oh, wait for a second. While well, this loads. Be a blast. All right. It's two Chinese teams facing each other, so there's a guarantee that one of China's teams will be in the final, and then the other is a Korean team, like the best team from Korea versus the best team in Europe. And you know, over here in North America, we always do incredibly poorly at Worlds. Uh, we struggle almost infinitely to get out of the group stage uh, with one team that's been a pretty decent exception to that would be Cloud9 who unfortunately didn't even make Worlds this year um, but that's besides the point so here in the West we're rooting for Europe because you know they're our compatriots against uh, the East I suppose um, and out of the four teams left the strongest looking team is China's number one team, top esports, and uh, it's gonna be really interesting to see if that if they can get beaten by uh, who they're facing in the semifinals, which is a mainly rookie team from China. There's one player who's a pretty decent veteran who's been on a uh, popular team for a while uh, that had been to Worlds consecutive years. They hadn't necessarily done too well, but the fact that they made it and they weren't from a major region was quite impressive. Um, so, we'll have to see. Uh, personally, I believe the finals is going to come down to top versus the Korean team, Damwon. Uh, I don't believe the European team, G2, will have a chance against Damwon, but I could be wrong because they absolutely destroyed... Uh, the previous game, Gen G 3-0, when everyone thought they were going to get crushed. So, you know, you never know. Um, anyway, that's enough about the World Championships, because now we're looking at how awesome I am, right? Okay, so, it's really good that I got Aphelios. I'm just going to grab the starting items, because Aphelios is one weird champion. So, for starters, he doesn't have an E at all. Um... He doesn't level up any of his abilities. Instead, you level up his stats with uh, his passive. And he also has five different weapons. It's a lot to go through. But basically, you can either get attack damage, attack speed, or lethality. And so most people get more attack damage. So like starting out, I have this Guardian's Hammer, and then my three levels are straight into attack damage. So I currently have 103 attack damage at the start of the game, which is pretty good. Um, but it's the trade-off that I don't have, you know, three abilities. I have one ability per gun, so technically five abilities. Uh, my W switches between guns that I hold. There's no E, and then my alt is also different. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of a... It, I felt like this is a little bit of a mixed bag. Um, so I'll, uh... As things are going on here, I'll attempt to try and explain different things you can do with Aphelios. Um, so, 
he starts off the game with two of his guns, so next it's better to go for attack speed than lethality. Um, obviously, early on, people don't have a lot of armor, but that doesn't mean that uh, you're going to be struggling or anything like that. Um, if you don't grab the lethality, instead you grab the attack speed. Alright, so Aphelio starts off the game with the same two guns every single time. Uh, they are the Sniper Rifle Calibrum, and then the Pistol Severum. And so Calibrum's ability, it shoots off a really long-range projectile, and if it hits an enemy, it then marks them like this, and then you can hit them with your offhand weapon which is what your W does. Uh, so then you can swap to your offhand weapon. And then, so Severum, it's active ability. Uh, when you activate it, you start rapidly attacking with both your main and offhand weapons, kind of spinning around in a circle similar to like a Katarina ultimate or even a Samira ult. Clearly not doing as much damage because it's just a little ability, but it's like this. I almost got first blood there. Um... But so that can be really helpful, especially with his th gun that comes third, which is Gravitum. And this is his CC gun, so you can lock people down. Just like that. I walked into that. Disappointing. That's fine. Um, okay. And so Aphelios, he can kind of be mana hungry, uh, just due to the nature of switching between his guns um, and using their active abilities. Uh, Gravitum's active ability, it will apply whenever he basic attacks with it, it applies like these little swirling balls around the enemy, and then when you activate the ability, it roots them into place. So, like one good combination is to use the active on Severum here, to spin around and apply a bunch of those little orbs when uh, Gravitum's in your offhand, or yeah, Gravitum's in your offhand. So then you can immediately switch to Gravitum and then apply that route to multiple targets at once. Um, and so, but the at the start of the game, it's the same order for the weapons every single time. That's how it always works. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we've hit six. Ah, uh, okay. So I'm gonna have to hit five different ultimates this game because. Each gun, while having a different active ability, also has a different ultimate. Um, which is just really fun. So, I'm pretty low here on Severum. Each gun also only has 50 bullets. Um, okay. So, I hit Malphite with my alt on uh, Infernum here, which is the flamethrower. Okay. Just doing my Aphelios things here. Not sure how you died there. Alright. Uh, so I have burned through Gravitum, so now I'm at my last two guns. The Infernum, which is the flamethrower, its active ability will shoot out a wave, and then it will apply stacks of your offhand weapon. And then my last gun here is Crescendum, the rapid-fire weapon. Um, so Crescendum is a little, like, bow and arrow sort of thing. No, not bow and arrow, boomerang sort of thing. Um, so it launches, and then the closer you stand to your target, because the attack speed is based on how close you are to your target, um, instead of like a flat value. So, if you're standing super duper close, then you can easily get off a lot more hits than if you're further away. And the active on this places down a turret that will shoot out what is on your offhand weapon. So it's shooting out the flamethrower effect from Infernum. Um, and so, the passive on Crescendum is whenever you use a different weapon that applies the uh, crescendum. It will create a mini uh, crescendum 
that works with it. So I'll try and hit something to show you. Alright, so here we go. Hit some minions. It threw it out. So now I have a stack of five little Crescendums. And so I'm rapidly attacking with them. Uh, so you can deal even more damage a lot faster. Um, Alright, so I've got Calibrum and Crescendum. I'm going to go ahead and fire. Um, so like the Calibrum trigger, if I hit something with my active Q, then... Uh, I will get one extra little crescendum to come towards me. I guess technically they're not boomerangs, they're called chakrams, but, you know. It is what it is, I suppose. I'm probably gonna burn through all of, uh, Calibrum here. Just trying to hit, um, oh boy. That was a disgusting combo. Wow. Alright, so I'm going to grab that. Um, and then normally I would just start going straight into the eye edge. But I'm going to build a QSS, the ultimate get me out of CC please we uh, item. Because it instantly cleanses effects on you. It's basically like a cleanse in the form of an item, but it does cost... Um, it's not free, so, you know. Alright. Alright, so there we go. I've got eight little, uh, chakrams going here. Okay, alright, alright, looking good, looking good. Malphite still doesn't have his ult back yet. Oh man, I barely survived that. Um, that out. Alright, uh, okay. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, that was really close. Okay. Uh, I need to... Hit some things here. Um, let's see, that relic spawns in 20. We could go back and get ours. Are we gonna do that? Maybe. Maybe not. Alright. So lock him down. Um, so, like, being able to swap between your weapons and get different cues off is really, really crucial with Aphelios, but, uh, it can be really hard because you have to maintain, you know, figure out what weapons you're gonna have, and who's actually, so near his ult, the Moonlight Vigil, the next weapon, so whichever weapon, if I manage to burn through all of Gravitum first, or if I burn through the last three of my Crescendum, uh, Severum, not Crescendum, then it'll show me what the next weapon's gonna be. So the next one, it'll be the Infernum, the Flamethrower. So I'm gonna go ahead and just burn through, because three's not very much, and each active ability usually costs about ten bullets out of your fifty. Um, so... Actually, I may have to use my ult here with Severum, uh, because hitting something restores extra health to me if Severum's my main weapon, so... Oh, man. I was about to fire my ult, too. Um, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab... Um, oh, gee, I don't know. Probably Death Stance is the next... This is one of the best items on an Aphelios. It's very good. So I'm going to grab that, and then I'm probably going to go towards Burt Greaves, just for the movement speed and attack speed. Um, okay, so here we go. So I guess I can kind of start to explain what his ultimate does, depending on what weapon you have equipped. So each ult is different, and it applies an effect to Severum, so it deals a flat amount of damage. And then 
whatever's in your main hand does an additional effect. So Severum heals me, Gravitum applies a 99% slow, and the root becomes longer. Uh, instead of one second, it becomes 1.25, which, you know... are going okay. Uh, if I could just auto-attack one of them. Didn't hit any of them, so I couldn't root them, unfortunately. Oh, wow. I dealt a significant amount of damage that I was not expecting. Alright. Oh, come on, Karthus. I rooted her. Come on, Karthus. Please. Oh, yeah, she's gonna die. Good job, Karthus. Alright, so I have mainly, I think, put a lot of points into my Q there. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Burt Greaves here, because I'm not gonna be able to complete this item yet. And then I'll grab the Vamp Scepter for the lifesteal. Okay. So, the ultimate duel... Uh, if you're like trying to fight somebody is to have Crescendum and Severum together. You activate Severum's active to spin around a circle, build up a lot of extra chakrams, and then switch over to Crescendum and you're attacking like a god, especially if you have a lot of extra attack speed. So I'm going to go ahead and try and get those weapons because I know this is going to be really big. Oh my gosh, really? So much healing. Ugh, that's annoying. Oh well, that's fine. Got the kill in the end anyway, but yeah. I mean, y Yumi's really good at keeping her allies alive. I think I'm gonna go ahead here and... Let's see, sell. I think I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm just gonna buy a longsword. Little... I'm going to pretend I didn't see that. Was I alt? Okay, so I'm not going to switch over to Crescendum because my next upcoming weapon is Severum. So I'm going to burn through these last five on Calibrum, and then I'm going to try and conserve my ammo so that way I can really get in there and duel. Um, I don't quite have Death Stance yet, so I'm not going to get the super great healing that I would otherwise, but it's all right. So I can either hit five minions or I can try and land one Q to apply and get an extra chakram. Um, let's see if I can hit the Q. Don't know for a fact. Okay. Okay, there we go. Look at all those. 12 chakrams. Oh. Well, we got the dub there. So, yeah, Aphelios, he's very, very kind of crazy. I mean, and when people first saw him, it was like, what the hell are we supposed to do? There's way too much going on. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and give it to Ziggs here. Um, he did a good job. Let me pull up the screen if I can. There we go. Um, yeah, Aphelios, man, he's just... Hmm. He can be very good, but you can also suck really hard with him if you don't know how to operate your weapons properly. And kind of like micromanaging just adds another task onto the game of what you need to be doing. Uh, but he is very good, so make sure to keep that in mind. 
uh, if you ever decide to play him on Summoner's Rift. Um, and there's like definitely different strategies. So obviously I talked about having Severum and Crescendum together for dueling. Uh, if you're trying to take objectives, uh, well, Crescendum again is one of them, and the other one is Infernum, and you can set down a turret with Infernum to deal the AoE from the flamethrower while you're using Crescendum, like taking down Baron, and you can just melt through objectives. I mean, Baron, Baron's like uh, Cal uh, Callista taking Baron, which she can just keep stacking spears and then pull them all out at once. So you just really just fly through that, um, which is pretty cool. All right, so we're going to go ahead and play another game here. I I'm going to play a couple, uh, try to make this a little bit longer than um, yesterday's, I suppose. I think I set out a time block till about 2.30, um, which is fine. So let's see. Hmm. It's really kind of interesting, uh, like Riot's last couple champions that they've added to the game have really sort of altered how the game is played, if you will. Uh, and I know each champion's different, you know, like, people thought it was insane when Rengar got released back in Season 3. He can jump out of bushes for an auto attack? Extended range? What? And then now there's like... Fear the assassin is no master. Um... This is my favorite champion on this game mode. <laughs> I think I've already played Akali. Maybe not on stream. Maybe I have. Uh, but man, oh man. Oh no. Mm. Mm. We're going to be so squishy. I, sh I really should do the smart thing. And okay. You're taking Shin? Alright. I'm sticking with Akali. Alright. Okay. We're good. We're clean. Yeah, I love, 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 love this champion so much. Oh, she's so fun. And you can also be really, really bad with her and have a... Oh, After I got all hyped up for it. Oh, Sad. Well, I guess I can go back to my point about how the game has getting, like, completely changed. Like, Aphelios doesn't even have an E. And his W just changes his weapons. Like... It's, uh, total insanity you, can rely on. you know, and it's set. I mean, that guy literally does everything. He's gonna kick your butt. One-two combo. Um, hmm. Okay, the cast and pick. I like. Kale might not be a bad choice here. However... She just takes a while to get going. Um, if this guy wants to play Nunu, I can grab Cassidy and spread out our damage profile. Alright, I'm gonna do that. Um, okay, so... I'm gonna use Count Cassidy. It's a fun skin. I think I'm going to take uh, Fleet Footwork just for the movement speed. Um, and then I don't need to take Mark, so I think I'm going to take Ignite, because my alt is, like, essentially a flash, if you will. Uh, it's, like, a less, I don't know, it's a, it's about the range of Hex Flash, maybe. Um, it's, like, it's not as good as Ezreal's Arcane Shift, or Flash in general, but, on the other side of things, like, Ezreal's Arcane Shift fires a bullet that homes in on an enemy, but it doesn't deal, like, tons of damage. Since this is cast in its alt, it deals quite a bit of damage. Uh, and then he can keep reactivating it within a couple seconds um, for an increased mana cost up to 800 per cast. <laughs> so, I mean... Obviously, you can't just spam it infinitely from the start. It takes, you know, you got to build up mana. you got to get mana from Rata Ages, Archangels, to make sure that you're able to do things like that. Um... So Kassin, he's pretty cool. Uh, neat champion. So, his passive. Voidstone. Takes reduced magic damage. And avoids unit collision. That's that's it. And the reduced damage scales with level and the later you are into the game. So, it he's an older champion, and so it's just got 
like a really non-complicated passive. Nothing like, here's five different weapons and different abilities, X, Y, Z, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, I mean, I like it. It's simple. His abilities, like, they're not too complicated to understand. They say exactly what they do. Null Sphere. He fires a Void Sphere. And, uh, deals magic damage and si uh, silences. It also, it, one bonus that it does is interrupt the channeling effect. So, like, if somebody's gonna, like, channel in for a flash or something. Things are getting a little crazy here. A little crazy. Uh, I gotta try and basic attack something so I can get my proc off. There we go. Get that silence. Oh gosh. Alright. So yeah, the silence and it also... The excess damage that I deal applies a shield. So you can kind of save your bacon with a nice silence sometimes. Uh, his W is Netherblade. Uh, so my attacks deal bonus magic damage, really. And then... So... It's also an active, and it, my next basic attack deals more damage and restores 4% uh, of missing mana. So that's also something to keep in mind. Uh, I'm not going to be much help for a while until I hit six. Um, so you can, if you're like, Cassidy's really good at being able to keep healthy in the mana department. Um, because, oh, okay, I exploded. That's fine. I'm going to start working towards Roa. I'm definitely going to grab the parts of the catalyst first. Um, so it's E, Force Pulse, very powerful. And there's a reason. So he, there has to be six spell casts around him for him to be able to use this because it deals a lot of damage. And it applies a slow, a pretty significant slow, and a small amount of, uh, like, this big old arc. 70% slow, that's pretty large, you know? Alright, so I'm almost six. Um, so yeah. So, like, right now I can cast it because there's been six charges, and now I can't. I, but uh, after it comes off cooldown, I'm gonna have to wait until there's two, four, five, there we go, back to it. Um, so it's very powerful, and that's usually, uh, an ability you would level up, tr like, max first. And then my alt, Rift Walk, I jump to a location, Oh gosh. Oh, I died. Oh, I died from minion basic attack. Alright. That's fine. I'll go ahead and grab catalyst here. Um Alright, so Riftwalk, it teleports and deals damage. And then within the next okay, so fifteen seconds. I can reuse it for a doubled mana cost. Alright. So I got a shot down there. That was good. That was good. Uh, go ahead. Pick up Blastic one working towards that Roa. I have died three times, which is not great. But they have a significant amount of range to keep me at bay, making it quite challenging to unfortunately play cast and into them. Um, but the later the game goes, the easier it is for me to kind of pop off He's definitely, definitely a scaling champion. Takes a while to really kick it into gear. But so, like, you can just continuously cast Riftwalk 
um, within 15 seconds after a 5 second uh, cooldown period. Which then gets reduced based on, uh, you know, CDR and things of that nature. But, I have like, under 1800 mana, so I can't cast it, you know, too many times or anything like that. Alright, let's see here. Alright, got a flash, got a flash out of it. Wow, that seemed a little bold work out. You could have potentially died from that. I'm just gonna casually walk away here, um, so we we can you know equally trade here. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be more challenging for myself. Oh no, man! I died right into a root, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, I got rid of my gen. Shoot. Disappointing. Alright. Um, so my tier's not charged very much at all, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy rod. I'm gonna buy boots. And then... Um, they're pretty heavy on the attack damage front, so I think I need to get the Zanyas next. Um, just in terms of... Okay. I did get ignited there, right? Okay. All right. So these trades aren't exactly what I'm hoping for. Um, Got to grab double cloth here. Or towards that uh, seekers to charge that. And also try and do a couple little alt casts uh, just to really work on that tier, because I haven't been able to do yet much yet, and I'm not at all close to charging tier. So, like, next cast is 400, and then the final one will be 800. And, uh, I don't really want to do that. Oh, that was close to hitting him. Alright, so now it's off cooldown. One other thing I did fail to mention was the reason that Cassidy's really easy to uh, stay healthy on mana is because the Nether Blade that restores mana literally costs one. So you restore a ton of five percent of my mana on a basic attack, twenty-five percent if I attack a champion. Like Yeah, I'm really gonna need some armor here. Good god. We got aced. One for an ace. Wow. Man, this is, uh, it's a toughie. I'm gonna grab stopwatch. And probably break it, like, immediately. But. Alright. So.
All right, there we go. Got a little shutdown. Uh, did survive somewhat, so that's good. He was level 11, and I don't have much magic resist, so I didn't want to take that chance. Maybe didn't have to blow it, but rather safe than sorry, so. here shortly and he's like our source of initiation thresh can pull somebody but that's like about it going well for the team. Uh, Seekers is in an abysmal state. I guess I'm gonna buy a lost chapter. It's not gonna matter too much at this point. I guess I'm still nowhere near close to actually getting my Archangels. But that's fine. I don't know how on earth he's able to just throw it out there like that. It's kind of annoying, but... That's not going to be enough, is it? Nope. Disappointing. Especially since Nunu first built a death cap. Wow, no wonder he's doing nothing. That's like one of the most expensive items that you can get. And you waited to first build that? Oh man. That's not helpful. That's not helpful. Alright, I'll be able to purchase my Archangels here. Because uh, I'm like... 20 gold short, so it makes more sense for me to just grab it before going out there. Plus, I can get back to lane a little quicker, just because of Rift Walk, and I've got over 3,000 mana now, so I'm not as concerned about uh, using my abilities. Oh my god. Holy crap. Oh god. Oh my. Lanta. Uh, Alright, well they don't have any minions, so that's one thing. Then it's gonna be up on three. Alright, 
let's see if ignite helped. It did. Okay. Mm, man. This is quite the game, folks. Whew. Gosh. It's like we can hardly even cut through people. Codex. All right, let's not do anything crazy here. Oh God, he went crazy. He went crazy. Why? Why? Just back off. Just back off, please, please. Oh God. My gosh. Oh. Oh, Thresh. I can respect it, but man, it was not not the right play, my guy. We're never gonna be able to contend that, especially without minions or a full team. Alright, so my man is you know recharging. If I could actually hit something with a W, that'd be helpful, but let's see if I get that chance. There we go. Back. Alright, okay, killed Jin. Uh, wow, we got an ace. Okay, alright, the rest just stay alive, my guy. Um, shoot, okay, Seekers is only two thirds charged, but I gotta, I gotta get something else here. I'm getting clobbered. Um, man, I don't even know what to get. Uh, I guess Merlin Namicon to cut through their healing. So they got a lot of that going on. I'm glad that I got the uh, Seraphs now. So. I'm starting to get going at this point in time, but uh, it's not going to be, you know, super impressive at this point in time. What just happened? What just happened? I'm so confused. Okay. Alright, we got an ace. Oh, it's just me and Nunu? Alright. are dealing a lot of damage. Mm. 
Yeah, without Morello's, man, I'm gonna be in trouble. It's gonna be tough to get through their heels. Oh my. That's gonna be the game, folks. Goodness gracious. Wow. That was, uh... Hmm. I gotta say, uh, some of Thresh's initiations there were maybe a bit aggressive for our particular team composition, but... You know, it is what it is. Uh, again, it's just a game, not my life, so I'll be fine. Um, hmm. I guess I like what Nuno was trying to do. So I'll give him a, a friendship. Man, that was pretty tough, though, for me to get in there. They did not have an ideal team comp for me to come after at all. Oof. Somehow I got out of there with 10 kills, but man, that was... That was a bit brutal. A bit brutal. Um, okay. Let's see. Who else we get? Maybe we can go back to Akali and, you know, be happy with that instead of me being absolutely crushed like I was last time. <laughs> um, but, hey. What are you gonna do? Hmm. If I start actually being, like, good at this streaming thing, which clearly I'm not at this point in time. I know that. You know that. But that's okay. Uh, maybe I can get, like, a sponsorship from Monster Energy. Because that's probably the only thing that's keeping me alive at this point in time. I've been drinking like one wind. at least every day Always by since my the tender age of, uh, I don't know, 13. Um, alright, so I absolutely hate Yasuo, so I'm definitely not playing Yasuo. That's not happening. I can play Rise. A step ahead of Cataclysm. Go for it. I hate Yasuo. Absolutely hate him. Trash champ. I could be set here. Set to could pick. Um, oh, but he wants to go Vlad? No, I was just Brand. Alright, I'm gonna stick with Rise. Uh, I like Rise. Um, cause Rise. Rise goes fast! Uh. Cleanse is helpful. The Slad. That. Alright. Nope. I guess not. Alright. That's fine. Gosh, man. I hate Yasuo so much as a champion. Surprisingly, I hate Yon less, and he's probably more challenging to deal with. But there's just so many Yasuo maids out there that really do not know how to play the champion. Let's get in the Or, if they do, it's one of those lovely situations. Everyone else is garbage, I'm the best on the team. Oh, I'm 1 in 13? That's clearly because you're not doing enough for me. Like, come on, man. Uh, Rumble's a great team pick. Uh, he's got some power. Could go Tank Fiddle, who's also a good choice. I see Rumble doesn't really build tank normally, so like people are like, "Oh, well, there's a Rumble. You know, we get a tank, but we really don't." And I guess it doesn't matter. Third time's the charm, perhaps. Who knows? I never know. Alright. Thresh. Fun champ. Um, okay. Okay. Okay.
Alright. I'm not sure what's going on here. So I guess we're sticking with this. Right? Okay. This, this could work. Got LeBlanc to get in there. Me to do my thing. Um, and Thresh has a pretty cool selection of skins. Like his Pulse Fire skin's pretty sweet. Oh, you're not going to pick an 80 carry? Please stick with Jen. Please stick with Jen. We need a carry. But I think I'm going to rock the FPX. It's just a pretty sweet skin. Considering they're not at Worlds, this is my homage to them. Alright. Good. If he had picked Zen, that would have been a little rough. A little rusty. I would have had to go AD Thresh, which is a thing you see uh, once in a... I'm not going to say the common phrase, so I'm going to say once in a while, instead of, you know, once in a blue moon. Which I just said that I wasn't going to say. I'm disappointed in myself. Continuing on. Um... Hmm. So, hmm. At least there's no Yasuo on the enemy team. So there's no Malphite coming in to clap your cheeks. Yasuo to follow up and make sure your cheeks never are separated again. I guess permanently separated. Never back to get. You know, that made more sense in my head. But, uh,. That's fine. That's fine. Um, hmm. So I'm definitely going to make straight support here. Obviously. For tank stats. Uh, <clears throat> Alright. I got a flash already. That's good. That's good. I'm at half mana, which is less good. Because I've been casting lots of whiffed abilities. Oh! Oh, she already blew her flash. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Click the lantern. If I had activated my hook like a few seconds sooner, I'm pretty sure we could have grabbed that Varus. So I have like no mana because I've been throwing out spells nonstop. Alright, didn't really have a whole lot of follow up. Again, the mana is. It's not, not with me. I am not feeling the mana. All right. Gonna try it. Oh, here we go. Got a biscuit. That'll help. That'll help. Disappointed in myself. If I had a more aggressive summoner spell. Or if I had, you know, better cooldowns, I suppose. Alright, so let's just kind of play it safe here. I tried. <clears throat> All right.
Okay. You never want that to happen, folks. to happen quite a bit when I lived with my parents um, but don't worry I'm not some like 35 year old guy uh, I'm 23 so you know it makes sense that I lived with my parents until I graduated from college which is then when I moved so all right well I guess I gotta exit and then reconnect I'm really not sure what happened but whenever this would happen for some reason the attempting to reconnect never actually reconnected me and I just like infinitely stayed um what do you mean exit what what did i do oh man uh shoot Okay, well, this is super. This is... Hmm. Oh, no, it wasn't just League. Also, my... Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. My whole stream is offline. Okay. What the hell happened? I do have internet, right? Checking. What? No. What is happening? Do I need to restart? Is there an update? No. That sometimes happens. I didn't press anything oh god man this is awful Ugh, i'm so sorry um okay i'm gonna have to go and check my internet out something just happened uh what on earth oh god the box is red why is the box red uh Why is it red? Tell me why it's red. Did something happen? Um, is our lawn being cut? No. Finn, do you know what happened? No. Oh. Man. Oh my god. Okay, well I'm gonna stop this now.